Hello students. In present video, I am going to explain about a manufacturing account. For the purpose of preparation of final accounts, firms are divided into two types. Trading concerns, manufacturing concerns. Trading concerns, they do not undertake any manufacturing activity. They buy finished products from suppliers. By adding some profit, they sell them to customers. So final accounts of trading concerns include trading account, profit and loss account and a balance sheet. By preparing trading account, we can know gross profit or gross loss. By preparing profit and loss account, net profit or net loss. And by preparing balance sheet, one can know the financial position of the organization. Means on a particular day, how many assets we have, what are their values, how many liabilities are there, what are their values. Come to manufacturing concerns. Some organizations, they undertake manufacturing activity. So they buy raw material from suppliers. So in factories, by using machinery, workers, they convert this raw material into finished product. They add some profit, they sell to customers. Besides gross profit and net profit, manufacturing concerns want to know about cost of manufacturing also. Cost of production. Why? To have a proper control on manufacturing cost. To compare one year manufacturing cost with the previous year manufacturing cost. To compare actual cost with the standard cost. To fix the sale price. Or if they receive any inquiry, to send the quotation for that. Otherwise, while submitting the tenders, a manufacturing concern wants to know cost of production. With the help of trading account, we cannot calculate cost of production. Because in trading account, we consider opening and closing balances of finished goods also. Next, some manufacturing expenses we do not include in trading account. For example, repairs to machinery, depreciation on machinery. So machinery we use in factories. So repairs to machinery, depreciation on machinery, these are manufacturing expenses now. But where we show in profit and loss account debit side we show. Therefore, a manufacturing concern cannot depend on trading account to know the manufacturing cost. So they prepare a separate account known as manufacturing account to know the cost of production. So the final accounts of manufacturing concerns include manufacturing account, trading account, profit and loss account and finally balance sheet. By preparing manufacturing account, we can ascertain cost of production. That amount we take in trading account and we calculate gross profit or gross loss. That amount we take in p and account and we ascertain net profit or net loss. Generally, trading account and profit and loss account we prepare in one table only. No? Here also same. Manufacturing account, trading account and profit and loss account are generally prepared in one table only. These three are nominal accounts. Therefore, nominal account rules we have to follow while preparing these accounts. Nominal account rule is debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains. Suppose a firm is engaged in manufacturing two products. Then they prepare two separate manufacturing accounts to know the manufacturing cost of each product. But nowadays, manufacturing concerns are not preparing manufacturing account. If it is a non-corporate manufacturing concern, they show these manufacturing expenses in trading account only. If it is a corporate manufacturing concern, they show manufacturing expenses in statement of profit and loss. You know about trading and PL account no? in intermediate level we learn. In trading account, debit side we show opening stock, wages, factory related expenses, factory lighting, factory rent, factory insurance, etc. Oil, fuel, power, gas, etc. Manufacturing expenses. And the credit side we show sales and closing stock. Means in intermediate level, manufacturing expenses also we show in trading account. And 
some manufacturing expenses we showing PLL account, depreciation on machinery, repairs on machinery, etc. Now the doubt is when manufacturing account is prepared, how to prepare trading account and profit and loss account. So all manufacturing related expenses we are showing in manufacturing account now. Then in trading account what to show? Manufacturing account answer cost of production we should take in trading account plus opening balance of finished goods, closing balance of finished goods we should show. In trading account answer is gross profit or gross loss. That amount we take in p and account now. And while preparing p and account, depreciation on machinery, repairs on machinery, we should not debit. Because these two manufacturing expenses we are showing in manufacturing account now. Again, we should not show in profit and loss account. Let us see the format of manufacturing account. This is a format of manufacturing account. Heading manufacturing account of dash. Here firm's name we should write. For the year ended dash. Here manufacturing account preparation date we should write. So manufacturing account is a part of final accounts now. So therefore year last date we should mention here. Suppose on 31st March 2022 we are preparing this account. That date we should mention there. Manufacturing account now. This is an account. So account is divided into two sides. Left side is known as debit side to indicate that DR symbol we should write. Right side is known as credit side to indicate that CR symbol we should write. Columns are particulars amount, particulars amount. As I said earlier, this is a nominal account. So nominal account rules we should follow while preparing this account. Nominal account rule is debit all expenses and losses and credit all incomes and gains. So manufacturing related expenses we have to show on debit side of this account and we should start with raw material consumed. Once you recollect a trading account, debit side we used to start with opening stock, purchases, credit side closing stock, opening stock of finished goods we used to show. Similarly credit side closing stock of finished goods we write. Debit side purchases means purchase of finished goods we show means in case of finished goods opening stock closing stock purchases separately we are showing but in case of raw material instead of showing these values separately we show only one figure for raw material consumed how to ascertain this take opening raw material balance so last date of the year is 31st March 22. Then year starting date is 1st April 2021. On that day, the raw material balance is known as opening raw material balance. That amount we should take in inner column. To that, during the year, means from 1st April 2021 to 31st March 22, if firm purchases any raw material, that purchases we should add. Plus procurement cost means to purchase this raw material if firm incur any expenses that expenses also we should consider here only. For example, custom duty, landing charges, excise duty, carriage inwards, freight inwards, insurance on incoming raw material etc. Then if you add these three amounts opening balance, purchases procurement cost then some total comes from this amount closing raw material balance we should subtract and suppose we purchase raw material some raw material is defective we are returning this raw material to suppliers that amount also we should subtract from this total raw material return outward so closing raw material raw material returns these two amounts we have to subtract from this amount. Then final amount is raw material consumed. Then we have to debit direct manufacturing wages and direct manufacturing expenses. Direct manufacturing wages means suppose this firm is manufacturing these pens. To manufacture these pens, 
firm uses workers so the firm has to pay wage to them so the wage which is paid to workers for the manufacturing of these pens is known as direct manufacturing wage that time only we should debit direct manufacturing expenses suppose to manufacture these pens the required permissions or technology firm has taken on lease basis firm supposed to pay royalty if royalty is paid based on units produced that that amount is known as direct manufacturing expenses similarly firm purchase the required machinery on hire purchase system if firm is paying hire charges based on units produced that amount also comes under direct manufacturing expenses so total in outer column finally raw material consumed direct manufacturing wages direct manufacturing expenses these three amounts we have to show in outer column when you add these three amounts then that amount is known as prime cost or direct cost continuation i will show from here prime cost or direct cost we wrote in outer column no? then we should debit indirect manufacturing expenses also known as indirect production expenses indirect factory expenses or factory overheads production overheads manufacturing overheads works overheads means what the manufacturing expenditure which cannot be directly linked to the final product indirect manufacturing expenses comprise three things indirect material indirect wages and indirect expenses indirect material means the material which cannot be directly linked to the final product for example stores consumed small tools fuel lubricating oil then indirect wages means the wages which cannot be directly linked to the final product example wages for maintenance holiday pay then indirect expenses means the expenses which cannot be directly linked to the final product for example factory expenses such as factory rent factory insurance factory lighting factory telephone bill factory stationery etc salaries of supervising staff for example salaries to works manager salaries to storekeeper etc then depreciation of plant and machinery depreciation of factory shed then repairs and maintenance for plant and machinery repairs for factory shed all these amounts total so this three amounts total in outer column we should write then we should debit work in progress means in case of manufacturing concerns goods may be in three forms raw material form working progress form finished goods form working progress means semi finished goods means some work is pending to derive the final product work in progress is also known as work in process suppose in question he has given opening work in progress and closing work in progress opening work in progress means work in progress value on 1st april 2021 in our example closing work in progress means work in progress value on 31st march 2022 in two ways you can show this opening work in progress take in inner column subtract closing work in progress final amount in outer column otherwise we can debit open work in progress and we can credit closing work in progress so remember manufacturing expenditure includes prime cost indirect manufacturing expenses and work in progress finally these three amounts we should add and the total should be in debit amount call come to credit side credit side we should write the nrv net realizable value of by products also known as sale of scrap what do you mean by by product 
or scrap. In most manufacturing operations, the manufacturing of a main product is accompanied by the manufacturing of sub-product or waste material. This sub-product is known as by-product. That waste material is known as scrap. And it has some saleable value also. To know the manufacturing cost of main product, we should subtract the value of byproducts from this manufacturing cost. That is why this value credit said we should write. And it is difficult to calculate the manufacturing cost of byproducts separately. Because to manufacture these byproducts, firm is not going to use any other material. Firm is not going to incur any extra expenditure. So in the course of main product manufacturing, automatically this byproduct is coming. Intentionally firm is not manufacturing this byproduct now. Therefore, we cannot calculate the manufacturing cost of byproduct or scrap. Comparing to the value of main product, this value is negligible. Therefore, Instead of calculating the manufacturing cost of byproduct or scrap, we show the net realizable value of byproducts in outer column. Net realizable value means if you sell this a scrap or byproduct, how much amount comes to us? That saleable amount only directly we show here. Then finally, from debit total, we have to subtract this credit amount. Then you will get cost of goods manufactured. This amount should be transferred to trading account. Here, the net realizable value of byproducts or scrap is credited so that we can get the exact manufacturing cost of main product. Now, this manufacturing cost, we should transfer to trading account. And remember one point, while preparing manufacturing account, debit total will be more than credit total. Means, Compulsory, the difference should be on credit side only. Means manufacturing account shows a debit balance only. So that balance is known as cost of goods manufactured. So we take this value in trading account debit side and we prepare trading account. So this is all about manufacturing account. This format is available in the description box. So hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.